Hi, it's Tone again. Today we're going to talk about how to set up an optical system for what I'll call medium format LCD panels. And I've simulated that by just using a normal 35 millimeter slide. But what I'm really talking about is an LCD panel that looks kind of like this. And if you measure it, you'll see that it's maybe about 34 millimeters diagonal across the, the uh, display surface. This one happens to be a 4 to 3 aspect ratio um, for those of you familiar with. 35 millimeter photography, you'll know that a 35 mil slide is in fact um, a 2 to 3 aspect ratio, but give or take a little bit. They're about the same and it's easier for me to use a 35 mil slide to do this demo. So, how do we go about doing these optics? Well, there's a neat trick here. Um, because we can use something that's very common um, and easy to access in terms of optics and that's um, what we call a telescope eyepiece and in particular the kind of eyepiece that we're looking for is what's known as an Erfel and an Erfel is actually you'll see it looks like it's three elements here but in fact it's five elements because if you look at this, this element sideways, you'll see it's actually two optics glued together. And similarly, this one is two optics glued together. And this one is a single double convex lens. And these will be stacked together to give you um, a fairly nice wide field of view um, view, look at our medium sized image display or panel. So what are the criteria for choosing a telescope eyepiece? Because there's a lot of them out there and there's a lot of designs. Um, the two most popular are probably what's called a Plossel and what we're going to use today which is an Erfel. Um, a Plossel gives you about 50 degrees field of view and Erfel gives you maybe 65 degrees field of view and, in, and because we're interested in VR in wider fields of view um, obviously we want uh, as wide a field of view as we can get. Um, this particular set of lenses here was purchased from Surplus Shed. It's their L1715. Um, I think the whole set set me back uh, $9.50. Um, there's another model um, that's slightly different and it's an L3715 and that's about $12.50. They're both very similar designs. Let's look at the criteria for why I chose these. Okay, this element is going to be our eyepiece in the sense that it's closest to our eye. And what we want is an eyepiece that is relatively large because that's part of what gives us a wide field of view. And you can see here that this one is on the order of 36 millimeters, quite nice. Um, means that um, the image we're going to get is fairly wide. And the way we build up an eyepiece is actually we stack all three together like this and that your I goes here and your LCD panel goes here. Now I've chosen this particular model because of the focal length and the focal length of this one is 
30 millimeters, which means that the distance from the center of the lens, which would actually be this edge right here on the center eyepiece, give or take a little bit, and the image plane, that is our LCD panel, is going to be 30 millimeters, um, which is about where my third finger is wiggling over here. And so that makes a fairly compact um, optical chain. Um, let's talk about an easy way to put all of these together. You can see I'm juggling them with two hands and not doing a very good job of them. And so probably the easiest thing to do is just to wrap them in some tape. And so I'll peel off a hunk of tape here. Cut it neat with a razor. Try not to muck it up. Now, let's look at the optics. If you look carefully, this is the optic that goes closest to the LCD right here, and if you look carefully, you can see that this is actually concave, um, which gives you some idea of the direction it wants to go in, um, and the other side is convex, that is, it's got a hump on it. And so we'll start, we want the concave going towards the LCD panel, so I'll start my assembly roughly here. The second optic wants to be butted right up against the first optic. Now the third optic, this is the one that faces the eye, has a curved section here on the right and a relatively flat section on my left, and the flat section is what you want facing your eye. And so all told, now, if we can just line these guys up and keep them relatively parallel. Okay, so now we have a eyepiece, maybe not perfectly set up, but it's good enough for our little experiment. And what you'll see now is that if I hold it so that the distance between the center of the eyepiece, the actual image that we're looking at is approximately the focal length. In this case, the focal length of this eyepiece is 30 millimeters you'll have a nice in-focus image and you'll see that you get a fairly wide field of view. So, what we've determined now is that what we want is an eyepiece that is fairly large in diameter, and that gives us a focal length that's appropriate to the size of our LCD panel, in that a shorter focal length magnifies more and would do better with a smaller panel, and a longer focal length will do better with a slightly larger panel. Um, and that, in fact, is why um, the other suggested eyepiece, telescope eyepiece from Surplus Shed would be their L3715, which has similar diameter, um, but is 32 millimeters instead of 30 millimeters focal length and works with a slightly larger panel, probably better for a 35 millimeter slide. But 
Um, you can kind of fiddle with these. They are uh, relatively inexpensive and surplus shed has a wide variety. The other reason that these eyepieces are particularly useful is what's known as eye relief and that is the distance in here between the eye and the first lens element. Uh, what we're trying to avoid is having to jam the lens directly into the eye socket because everybody's head is a little bit different shaped and what we'd like to do is have the eyepiece maybe about that far out. And the other reason is quite simple. We'd like to support folks with eyeglasses and obviously we need to be just a little bit off of the eyeglass so we don't scratch either lens or cause any discomfort. And if the eyepiece were any closer, it would bash against the eyeglasses. Not a good thing. So that's a quick tour of how to assemble a complete optical system for medium to small size LCD panels, say about an inch and a quarter diagonal using very inexpensive and high quality optics. These optics are glass, um, they're coated lenses, they're very good um, with regard to chromatic aberration and um, really don't do a lot of distortion on your image except at the very far periphery. The downside as always of glass lenses is that they weigh more than plastic lenses. This little setup is about 80 grams. Um, that's a little under three ounces, about two and three quarters ounces. Um, but a lot of head mounts in this class are built with lenses very similar to this um, and they seem to work out fine. So I appreciate you joining in on this discussion of optics for medium to small size LCD panels and we'll see you back at VR Artifacts in our next discussion. Thanks. And goodbye.